In this video, I want to show you how to use your calculator to do scientific notation. And what we're going to be doing on the calculator is going to be a little bit more involved than our, just our basic operations on the uh, calculator. And our goal here is to take numbers like 1,000, 1, 1,796,000 and turn it into scientific notation mode, which in this case would be 1.796 times 10 to the 6. But we want to use our calculator for this instead of trying to do it by hand. So the first thing we need to do is in our calculator, we're going to take our calculator and we're going to hit the second button. And then we're going to go to the PsiEng function, which is right here. So we're going to hit that button. And in this menu, it gives you three different options. There's FLO, which stands for floating point, SCI, which stands for scientific notation, and ENG, which stands for engineering mode. You're probably never going to use engineering mode, but we are going to be using scientific notation mode. So we're going to take the cursor key, we're going to press it to move it from floating point to scientific notation mode. Then you're going to hit enter. And if you've done it correctly, what you should see is a little SCI notation at the bottom of your screen. So in this case, in order for us to do this problem, what we're going to do is just simply type in the number. Like so. And then hit enter. And the calculator is going to automatically convert it into scientific notation if you already have it in scientific notation mode. Now, the real advantage to this is it makes it a lot easier to do calculations in this mode. So let's say, for example, that we want to do 2.4 times 10 to the negative 17th times, uh, let's say, 5.6 times 10 to the 9th. So what we want to do on the calculator is we're going to start off by typing in 2.4, then we're going to hit the second button, we're going to go to EE, e. get that little E to appear. So that's second EE. E. Okay. That E is a shorthand notation that means times 10 to whatever power. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in the power on the 10 next. So it's going to be negative 17. Then we're going to hit times. We want to do 5.6 second EE. In this case it was 10 to the 9th, so I'm going to type in 9 and hit enter. And that gives us our answer, which is 1.34 times 10 the negative seventh. Okay. We can also use this for division. So let's suppose that the problem we want to solve is 16, or I should say 1.6, times 10 to the negative thirteenth over 4 times 10 to the negative nineteenth. So on the calculator, what we're going to type in is 1.6 e negative 13 divided by 4e negative 19. So clear, 1.6 second ee negative 13 divided by 4 second e negative 19. And then hit enter and it gives you your answer right there. All right. Now, in order to do your regular calculations, you're going to want to switch it out of scientific notation mode. So to do that, we're going to hit second Psyenge, like we did at the beginning. We're going to change it over to floating point. Okay. That's going to change it from scientific notation mode to floating point mode, which means it's going to start expressing the numbers like that without the scientific notation there.
Now, while you're in floating point mode, if you have a number that you have in scientific notation that you want in standard notation, you can type it in using the EE button as well. So let's say we had 1.25 times 10 to the negative third, and we wanted it in regular notation. So what I would do, since my calculator is not in scientific notation mode, I'm going to type in 1.25e negative 3. And then hit enter. And that's going to give me my, my decimal format, which is 0 0.00125. Now this mode is, is really, really useful if you're going to be doing a class like chemistry or physics, or if you just have to do scientific notation for your math class.